little bit of this going on today too. Can't ignore putting this in the video. So today I'm gonna to give the trails out here at the Mactaquack Provincial Park a go. They're actually grooming fat bike trails out here this year. And I believe they started doing fat bike trails last year on the walking paths. Um, I'm not really 100% sure about that. However, this year they've actually groomed more trails and new trails specifically for fat biking. Mactaquack Provincial Park has been here in New Brunswick for as long as I can remember and I'm in my 50s so I don't remember a time where the park wasn't here. It's a campground. It's also got an 18 hole golf course. There's an outdoor skating rink, lots of walking trails. On the way in I noticed they have signs that are specific to fat bikes so I thought that was kind of cool and as I drove in and I'm now currently at the lodge I can see where it's marked out with fat bike specific signs so that's awesome so I'm gonna give it a go This is awesome. Feels good. Keep looking back. Just to make sure I'm not creating any crazy ruts in the trail. So far, I think good. Whew, that was close. Definitely getting warmed up now. I know they groomed the trail this morning. It doesn't look like anybody else has been on it yet.
This is super fun. I know, I'm not very talkative during these. But, I'm trying to pay attention. So I don't know if you can hear that, but just over here is a sliding hill and it sounds like a lot of people are having a good time on it. It's great that people are using the park. It's awesome. Bill grooming. Oh, that feels nice. <laughs>
this is nice. I should have warmed up on this. <laughs> I'm assuming. I honestly couldn't tell you the last time I was on this golf course. I was pretty sure I was a caddy for my father when I was a kid. Oh, this is actually real nice. I think I'm running around four or three and a half on the back. PSI and about three in the front. It's rolling real nice on this stuff. Yeah, this is a little short little loop there, just around. Like they were saying, between the first and ninth hole. As I said, I really don't know what the layout of this golf course is. So that's it for Mac the Quack for today. That was about an hour and a half. My only thing I would say is I think they've got the trail marked with the wrong colors. The hardest trail that I did today was marked green and the easiest trail that I did was marked black. They might have just mixed up the uh, trail markings. That's okay. But that was a lot of fun. As I was trying to say earlier, there's a lot out here there's a golf course, you can snowmobile, you can go sliding, you can go fat biking, you can go cross country skiing, you can just go for a walk. And there's also a nice little uh, restaurant here called Moco. The trail, the harder trail that I tried today, there was nobody on it at all. Um, I think a few people tried it and because of the markings, they got off of it because they thought it was a green trail, but it's not a green trail and they found it very difficult. Now I think that there's still another section of trail that I haven't tried yet. So I'll have to come out here another day and uh, do that one. Had a great time. What I've really enjoyed this year about getting a fat bike is the fact that I am outdoors a lot more than I have been in the past. You know, with my own trail building, just getting on the bike, I've got snowshoes now, which I never had before, um, using those to help with my own backyard trail. So I've really enjoyed being able to get outdoors a lot more. So with that guys, take care, keep your stick on the ice, and don't pull your goalie. Take care.